This week, and more specifically in just a few days, we'll be able to play Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. Finally, with a reveal at COD next upcoming, we'll learn about a lot more in regards to specifics on features, weapons, maps, modes, streaks, progression, and all that we'll have on offer. But today, I want to get you prepped for the beta and talk about everything we know so far, as well as what you need to know about. Today, we're breaking down some of the big questions surrounding the beta, like when will my codes be coming? What time will the beta start for me? What cool features will we see as a bonus? And plenty of others as we go along. So drop your thoughts below. What are you looking forward to the most in regards to Modern Warfare 2? Is there anything in particular you're really excited for? Any weapon, map, mode, or anything like that you're really hoping to see? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful or it helps you out in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay with all things Modern Warfare 2. We've got so much upcoming in the next couple of weeks to months here leading up to the launch and beyond. So if you'd like to stay in the loop with everything as well as join us on the road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have in the community. And finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market, but more on them a little later. For now, let's talk about the multiplayer beta and what you need to know. Firstly, how do you end up getting access to the multiplayer beta? On the most fundamental of levels, the beta here for Modern Warfare 2 will end up having a couple of different sort of sections to it. An early access portion, an open beta portion, and then on the second weekend, also another early access and open beta sections. So to end up getting that early access to play the most time that you possibly can, you're going to end up needing a beta code. Now, this is something that you can end up getting from a various number of ways. Of course, the most advertised way is that of pre-ordering the game, whether that be from a number of different retailers anywhere online, like Amazon to a local brick and mortar shop to pre-ordering digitally, either on Bnet, Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. But there's also a number of different ways you can end up obtaining a code as well. With some events like the CDL viewership, during COD Champs, they dropped beta codes, but those codes you ended up getting from your retailer, the CDL, whatever the case, those had to be inputted at callofduty.com slash redeem. Now, I think the specific page Page for the Modern Warfare 2 beta actually changed where it's like callofduty.com slash promotion slash redeem code slash beta partner or something like that. But if you go to callofduty.com slash redeem and you redeem that code on the branded Vanguard page, it will transfer you over to the proper page where you can do everything there. And it kind of reserved your spot in the beta essentially for that account. If you pre-order digitally on Bnet, on Steam, on PlayStation, on Xbox, you wouldn't need any of these codes. The game will automatically recognize that you end up having access to it. And so therefore come day of distribution and when you can end up preloading the game, that's when you can simply go and download the beta application. Now, if you do still need a code, we'll have a few on screen throughout the video that can be redeemed again for any platform at callofduty.com slash redeem. So if you need one, hopefully that can help you out. Now, like I said, this reserves your spot essentially in line for the beta because that's not the actual download code for whatever platform you're playing on. That code, that should be coming any minute now. Last year with Vanguard, the beta codes for redemption and download on your actual PlayStation console went out on the 8th with the beta starting on the 10th. Black Ops Cold War the year before those codes were sent out on the 7th of October when the beta started on the 8th. And the year before that, Modern Warfare 2019, those beta redemption codes accidentally first went out on the 9th of September, but fully to everybody on the 10th, while the beta started on the 12th. So normally we have about that two day period here, sometimes one. However, with the announcement of the preloading starting for PlayStation users tomorrow, Wednesday the 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, it's quite possible they roll out around that same time. So keep your eye open, but at that point, you'll be able to download the beta application from the PlayStation Store in a week later on Xbox as well as whatever PC platform you have the game redeemed on. Now, when is the time of launch here for the beta? Well, like we mentioned, the beta is categorized into two weekends. Weekend one is PlayStation Early Access. So that means only PlayStation users will be able to jump in immediately. Now, in that weekend one, there's sort of two subcategories here, Early Access and the open beta portion of weekend one. Early Access is for those that ended up having a code as previously mentioned. Early Access will grant you first access starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 16th later this week. Now, if you're not from the West Coast of the US, what time does that come out for you? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad that I spent a little time in Photoshop drafting this up to come prepared. But 10 a.m. Pacific time is 1 p.m. Eastern for places like New York on the East Coast, 2 p.m. for places like Sao Paulo, Brazil, 6 p.m. for places like London, 7 p.m. in the evening for places like Stockholm, Sweden, and Berlin, Germany, 8 p.m. for places like Moscow, 2 a.m. in places like Seoul, South Korea, and Tokyo, Japan, and finally, for comparison, 3 a.m. for Sydney, Australia. If none of those are your time zones, I do apologize. Hopefully, though, it did make your conversions a little bit easier instead of having to add 10 hours or so to the timing of when it goes live on the West Coast. But for those still on PlayStation who did not get a code, you'll then also have an opportunity to play a few days later because on Saturday the 18th, the game goes to open beta, meaning that anyone for PlayStation can play the beta. Now, 
What's even better is you don't need PlayStation Plus, according to their official blog post detailing the beta. So seriously, if you have any thought of jumping in and checking it out, nothing's stopping you. Now, that first weekend will solely be for PlayStation, once again to reiterate, and will conclude on the 20th. Now, weekend two, the crossplay beta, that's something that will pick up for PlayStation in an open state once again. So if you miss weekend one and you're on PlayStation, you don't need a code or anything. You can jump right into it on weekend two. But that weekend two to also offer the opportunity to play to Xbox and PC, that starts on the 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Now, I'd say it's about a 50-50 right now, but with weekend one ending on the 20th and weekend two starting on the 22nd, there's just a part of me that kind of thinks that they'll just say screw it and completely bridge that gap with an extension on weekend one and then an early start on weekend two. I mean, doesn't it also kind of seem pointless to take one singular day off in the middle of that two week span? I mean, maybe that's just me being too optimistic for extra play time, but that's my prediction and I'm kind of sticking to it. But that said, while PlayStation will still continue the open status, the 22nd starts the early access period for PC PC and Xbox. So for those on Xbox and PC, you will need a beta code to play the game on the 22nd until 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 24th before that goes open beta. Now, for those that do, that beta starting on the 22nd will start at 10 a.m. Pacific, which again is 1 p.m. Eastern for places like New York, 2 p.m. for Sao Paulo, Brazil, 6 p.m. for London, 7 p.m. for Stockholm, Sweden, Berlin, 8 p.m. for Moscow, 2 a.m. for Seoul, South Korea, and Tokyo, Japan, and 3 a.m. for Sydney, Australia. On the 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific time, that's when the cross play beta goes live to open status across the board, which means regardless of platform, PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox Series S and X, as well as PC, you can play the game with no limitations whatsoever. Now, those are the hard dates that we are given. Is there a possibility that it could launch earlier overall? Sure, maybe it launches a little bit into the evening after COD Next, but I'd kind of wager more on the side of extensions of week one and bridging that gap between weekend one and two rather than an early launch overall. But that's just an educated guess that I have. That said, that's how you get access. That's when it starts. What about the content we can expect to see here? Admittedly, despite being three days out, we actually don't have a whole lot of things confirmed for what we can see coming. They've kept everything pretty close to the chest and save leaks from Warzone Mobile a while back that leaked everything, not just the beta build we'll have. We haven't really seen anything officially confirmed. I mean, sure, on a broader sense, we can see things like a hefty list of playable weapons, gunsmith functionality, basic systems of play and the mechanics that come into the equation, like dolphin diving, how slide canceling will or will not react with a player, and so on. But from a specific standpoint, we know of Arena Bay Grand Prix, Farm 18 as maps, likely museum in there as well. And we've also seen modes recently teased, Search and Destroy, Cranked, TDM, Domination, Ground War, Bomb, maybe Capture the Flag, but some of those would be rather interesting to see within the beta. So maybe those countdown teasers and what they've revealed don't fully make it into the beta, but from a holistic standpoint, let's just say basically any question gameplay oriented you may have is likely to have an answer within the beta. Oppositely though, things though you should bear in mind will not be in the beta include things like a full level progression system. Your prestige system, whether it be traditional, seasonal, a brand new system in place here for the year going forward, that will not be in the beta at the start here. That's something that we won't probably learn about until a little later on down the line closer to launch, but the beta is usually traditionally like your one to 55, your overall ranks to unlock things, but also it's not something we will ever get to that max level either. I'd kind of wager that our max level may be around 30, 35, maybe 40 if they want to push it really hard, but you're not going to see the full year progression system at hand here. Also, even if they are viewable, we're not gonna have access to all the weapons, streaks, perks, maps, and modes as a result of that level progression system sort of being limited. We might be able to see every single weapon coming in the game, but we won't be able to play with it because there'll be some that are still locked, if they're even visible at all. And then one thing also that, while I would love to see it, camos in your camo challenges, you're not gonna see that in the beta as well. I got a lot of questions recently asking about that one, so I wouldn't expect it. Now, before we jump into some additional bonus features and other experiences we may have in the beta, I want to let you guys know about my friends over at Gamer Advantage real quick. If you've been on the channel here, you probably know about these guys, but they're a blue light glasses company that I've been working with for almost two years now at this point, and to this day, I'll still swear by them, man. I work at my PC for anywhere from like eight to 12 hours a day, and looking at a screen is something that that is taxing on your eyes day over day, month over month, year over year. If you're in a similar boat working at a computer all day for your job, or if you're just looking at your phone for prolonged periods of time, any sort of screen, you'll definitely notice the effects of blue light. Now, I've had trouble combating it for years, 
years. And I'll be the first to say I'm absolutely that person that tried just about every pair of blue light glasses you can find generically off Amazon. Gamer Advantage is head and shoulders above anything on Amazon that you'll find. A little bit more of an investment, absolutely, but they are definitely worth it. They're the most comfortable, durable, and lightweight frames on the market. And to me, that makes them such a great choice for their daily use. Not to mention the best part, their lenses are clinically proven here and put through the ringer in terms of testing. And while I may not be able to convey the science as best as they can over on their website, I absolutely have seen the results here since using them. Gamer Advantage is the advantage of Espresso, and if you're looking to get your own advantage, check the link in the description below to learn more, and if you want to pick something up, use code Espresso to get 10% off your entire order. That said, let's get back to everything you need to know about the beta here, and let's talk about some new bonus features that we'll be seeing in the beta. The first of which is a first for the beta overall since our very first beta back in 2015 with Black Ops 3. For the first time, we will see some cosmetics, and I know that we just mentioned we won't see camos, but this is a different kind of cosmetic. For those that ended up pre ordering the vault edition of Modern Warfare 2, they'll end up having access to the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault, which we're confirmed will have more details for coming before COD next, which seems like tomorrow's that reveal is the only time we have left between now and where something could be released. But for now, it appears to be a sort of blueprint system that allows for interchangeable attachments that does not change the cosmetic features of the weapon. Blueprints, whereas beforehand you'd end up changing, say, a barrel, a stock, and it could change the entire look of a weapon in that blueprint aesthetic. This is something that's built out so that every single attachment ends up having that same cosmetic feel. Now, will this assumption change with official information? It's possible. Will it offer more than just cosmetics and maybe offer up some functional things like the sub variants of each weapon? We'll have to see. So for those that have the Vault Edition, you'll end up being able to use this along with your Red Team 141 Operator Pack, which is four different operators with custom uniforms alongside that. So a nifty little bonus here that might affect you, it might not, depends on what you ended up doing here with the beta. Now, additionally, for any collectors out there that plan on picking up Modern Warfare 2, you'll definitely want to make sure you jump into the beta at some point. Detailed yesterday were the Modern Warfare 2 beta rewards, which include some cool stuff. But again, across weekend one and weekend two, you got to level up and actually unlock these. Now at level two, you end up getting the smashed it emblem, the buckle up charm at level four, the pass the test player card at level six, the operation first blood sticker at level 10, a weapon blueprint of the side impact at level 15 for what appears to be a pistol conversion. We don't quite know what weapon in particular that is. Then in week two, you can end up getting the collision operator skin at level 18, the no competition vinyl at level 19, the safety first sticker at level 21, the floor vehicle skin at level 26, and then finally at level 30, which may or may not be our level cap, is the frontal impact weapon blueprint for what looks like the Scar L. Those all will be redeemed on your account automatically if it is the same account that you played the beta with on October 28th, launch day. So you get some cool cosmetics on day one just by simply taking part in the beta and ranking up. So if you're interested in that, of course, make sure you grind out whatever weekend or weekends you end up playing the beta. Now, moving past a little bit of that cool bonus stuff, one thing that we do have to talk about and you definitely have to keep in mind is that experiences for the beta will probably greatly vary. The beta is the first time that we'll get hands-on gameplay, right? I mean, everything we've seen up until this point from official marketing, from gameplay that's been put out, that's likely stuff that has come from PC high quality gameplay capture. This is the first time that we'll see the game out in the wild. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One gameplay will be out there with PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, as well as PC builds the game. Now, if you're on those platforms, a fair warning, it will probably be a lesser experience. I'm hoping that it's not, but the probability of a game built for next generation consoles running as well as it does on those, but on consoles that can be upwards of nine years old, it's not likely the case. So do bear that in mind that while it is hopefully a great experience for everybody, those especially on earlier generation PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones may end up having a tough time running this game at the peak performance that it's made for. So just keep that in mind. Next, one brief thing that I want to mention that I've seen quite a few times in comments over on Twitter, Reddit, wherever the case, that we see usually every single year around the beta, but this time this year, I feel like with more eyes perhaps on Modern Warfare 2 than there were on Vanguard, I feel like the frequency of the question is a little higher. But that being, will your stats from the beta carry over? Short answer, no. They will not carry over. Anything you do in the beta will not progress over, whether that be your weapon unlocks and weapon leveling, your overall level progression for your sort of soldier rank, any challenges that may be live sort of just by association with the base build of the game. That stuff will not carry over into the full experience come October 28th and beyond. So unfortunately, yeah, it kind of means that everything you do here in the beta is inconsequential. But at the same time, it's inconsequential. So have a blast, do whatever you want, play around with quite literally every single
single weapon, play around, experiment with different weapons, modes, streaks, all that kind of stuff, because you got nothing to lose. So just bear in mind, anything you do will not transfer over to the full game. And the final thing I want to talk about here today is more so just like a reminder here that I don't think that it's been announced just yet, but usually with every single beta, there is a public feedback location, something of either like as simple as a Google form or something that you can put feedback on Reddit or wherever the case, usually it's a more concentrated direct effort that's announced when the beta goes live. So by the time this video going up, probably won't be announced just yet, but keep an eye out for that one and absolutely do remember to submit your feedback for the beta. I feel like it should be a no-brainer, but we're going to say it regardless. Of course, if you do submit feedback, keep it constructive. Nobody anywhere is going to take feedback and ideas seriously if it's something that's just laden with expletives and something like that. So absolutely, if you have constructive criticism, relay to the channels that put out there that they want to hear that so that your voice and opinion can be heard on the game and where we may be able to see some changes made from the beta to the launch window. That month, why not a whole ton of time? will be time that Infinity Ward can gauge feedback and make associated changes if they feel it's the right play. With this being the first experience anybody will have for their hands-on gameplay, I'm absolutely sure that it's not going to live up to expectations of a lot of people. So in turn, do what you can to end up making your opinion on what should be made better, readily available, and in a way that the developers would be receptive to it. So keep that in mind, be on the lookout for any sort of feedback, submission locations, or forms. But that said, overall, that is where we're going to wrap it up. That is everything you need to know about the beta going forward here, and hopefully can provide you with a little bit of insight going into the gameplay experience. So that's it. That's what I call it. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What are you guys looking forward to in the beta? Are you excited to get your hands on gameplay? Finally, after all this time of seeing it teased, getting some reveals here and there, whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2. Again, we will be at COD next here in just a couple of days. We'll be streaming, we'll be creating content and giving you guys all the early access you need to see to stay on top of everything so hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all of it but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso only a few days away stay frosty take care and peace